And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. December 18th, 1892, 119 years ago today, a day all who love monsters should mark, and mark well. For that was the day the British scientist Sir Richard Owen died at the age of 88. Sir Richard had studied the fossilized remains of gigantic creatures millions of years old. And in 1842, he gave them a name, combining the Greek words for terrible and lizard to create the word dinosaur. Thanks to Sir Richard, dinosaurs became the stars of London's Natural History Museum. Many other museums followed suit, including Chicago's Field Museum, whose 40-foot-long T-Rex named Sue is the biggest and most complete Tyrannosaurus Rex skeleton around. Dinosaurs have made it into the movies as well. In the 1940 Disney film Fantasia, animated dinosaurs battle to the death to the accompaniment of Igor Stravinsky's Rite of Spring. While it was modern-day humans versus newly cloned dinosaurs in the 1993 film, Jurassic Park. I think we're back in business. <laughs> Yet for all their terrors, it is often the smallest among us who are most captivated by these largest of beasts. I like them because they have big teeth. I love scary things. Because they're mean. Mean, perhaps, but not cold-blooded, according to the latest research. Nor were they lumbering slowpokes, as once was thought. In fact, they could be sleek and fleet of foot, as depicted in these animations from the National Geographic Channel. We don't know for sure whether it was an asteroid strike or something else that doomed the dinosaurs to extinction some 65 million years ago. What we do know is that nothing seems likely to extinguish our fascination with them.